Hey everyone, this is Tournament Rider from WCReplays.com. Today I'm going to be doing a live audio for you. I'm going to solo up a game or two myself, depending on how long the first game is. And I'm going to walk you through the step process of what I do when I go into a ladder game. And some different things you might not know about maps. And um, some various elements of gameplay that you just might need help on or you didn't know about. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. And um, I'm searching, and I'll tell you exactly when the loading bar finishes so that you know exactly when to sync up the replay. As I know that can be a problem with live audios, is you just don't know when to press play, and you get behind, and there's no exact time because the um, commentator doesn't know, so you don't know, and no one knows, and it's confusing. So I'll just tell you when the bar is done. So I'm now searching for a game. I'm currently level 38. Um, I'm 43 on a, an, a, another account, but that one is um, going to go, or I'm not using anymore because one of my clans switched to new FOH names, so yeah, I switched out. I'm FOH writer, and I am waiting for a game. Um, anyway, so probably my next audio I'll do versus human. Um, because I know a lot of orcs have trouble with that. Uh, the tier 2 push especially, I know I have trouble with that even. And so I'll find a good replay of a professional player, you know, fending it off, maybe Grubby or something. And I'll, I'll see what they do and I'll make an audio on it. Okay, I'm in a game against I9. I recently had a clan war versus clan, clan AM, and he didn't show up. So, it should be a good match. He's undead, I am orc. Okay, we've just loaded, so we're in. Alright, it's no wood and a verse undead, so I have a um, little strat I like to do called Mass Windriders. Um, it's a pretty solid strategy once you hit tier 2, um, because you're a little vulnerable early on, uh, you have no barracks. Well, you can if you want, but I don't do that. No barracks. But what it allows you to do is pretty much just destroy crit fiends. And most undead will be going crit fiends against you on this map. And if they go ghouls, then good luck to them against Wind Riders anyway. So, yeah. Um, undead really has no solid anti air, kind of like Orc. Uh, well, again, because, well, they have no solid anti air for different reasons. Orc, because uh, their headhunters are so, are so nukeable. And uh, bats and windriders um, are easily killed as well. And with armor upgrades, bats are useless. And uh, undead, because fiends have the right armor types, and they bring the unit to the ground, but they can't just fire at it in the air, and that makes it really hard to, to um, just pick it off, um, especially to, because it has to hit the ground, and then you have to focus fire it. It's not an instant thing. It, it takes a little time. So that means that during that time, the opposing player can, can be focusing down those crit fiends really easily as they have no armor to start with, you know, maybe two if you upgrade it. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing a uh, 17 food tech, um, 12 food and workers, 7 wood and 5 gold, and a hero. Uh, I'm going to tech very quickly so that I can... Actually, I'm going to do 18 because I'm going to need the extra wood because I'm making towers. And um, I'm going to be making mass wind riders, so I want a little extra wood to uh, get those beast trees out of my torn tree from that and everything. So I did 18. Not a big deal. I didn't scout because I need all the wood I could for the tech, and it's not that big a deal because he probably went fiends. And if he went fiends, he'll have a delayed build. And if he went ghouls, he can't harass me because I'm not creeping. So good luck to him. All right, I'm going to build another burrow. I know I'm not going to get any food f until I hit tier two. But I want more safety precaution because another broom is basically a tower, more or less. I'm also going to be getting a shop uh, because I want to uh, be able to do a little more harassing after I'm done. Because I can't creep because I have no units to creep with. Okay, so my base is looking nicely. Once my war mill finishes, I will go ahead and get some towers. And I see a rogue death knight. What that means to me is ghouls, but it might be a delayed fiend build, you, you never know. Yes, he has gone ghouls, that is correct. I am a third of the way done with my tech, coming up, uh, nearing, nearing 
Maybe two fifths. I don't know. Whatever you want. Whatever makes your boat flow. And he's now tagging. So I'll probably have a, quite a bit of an advantage over him um, as far as tech goes. But because he didn't go fiends, it won't be a huge advantage. Uh, his main problem, though, is going to be countering the mass air. Because he's probably going mass destroyer. And that's a, that's a good strat versus orc. But that's going to leave you very vulnerable at tier 2 when I have mass air and you have mass ghoul. Um, at this point, we're really not doing much. He's trying to creep, and I basically don't want him to creep. Uh, he's gonna probably going to get the um, revealing dust thing, so you can see me, but I don't care. We are far enough apart to where I do not need towers. He has also gone cool, so my bros can fend it off. If he had gone fiends, I would have had to put some towers up, but I do not, because he went, um, he went ghouls. Okay, so he's probably going to creep that. I want to wait a little bit so I don't get picked up by the dust. If I'm trying now, maybe that worked out. Sweet, it probably is. Mm, steal the kill. Sweet, steal the, steal the kill. Get the manual. Yeah, it worked out nicely. Wind walk. Wind walk away. He'll probably use dust to find me. That's fine, I don't care. Please, actually, that'd be nice if he used dust. Okay, so I'm, uh, my upgrade's complete. Getting my torrent engine coming. I'm trying to you know, maybe snag a ghoul in the back, whatever. Uh, my my torrent engine's coming. And I'm putting up my beast trees now. Uh, I'm also gonna put up another bro just for the heck of it because I'm gonna need it eventually anyway. I might as well. So I'm gonna find out what the middle is because that makes a big difference as to creeping and everything else. And I'm going to tech right through because I want poison arrow and I also want a third hero, which you will be surprised to see. But it works pretty nicely if I'm um, used right. Okay, fountain of health, which is which is nice because then I can creep these things by myself and I won't need any help. He's probably creeping that shop as he just creeped his green, so he's probably moving around to that shop because that gives you level two. Here's here's an awesome little thing because he oh shoot he he went creeping and those poison poison dudes own you. Yeah, I can win walk away. I know, but uh, whatever. Okay, found of health. He's never gonna. With a fountain of health in the middle, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, wait, what he does, because he's not going to be able to catch me. Okay. So I have control for my beast trees so that they can go to my torrent chieftain. Because I'm going to creep with him while I mass wind riders and while I harass my blade master. I'm going to be. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't worry. H here's the plan. The plan works like this. I get to 50 food in Windriders and a Naga, a Torrent Chief and a Blade Master, uh, and I get a few upgrades that, that I'm getting now. And I harass my Blade Master, just trying to you know, disrupt his creeping if I can. If I can't do that, then just steal a kill every so often or whatever. Just keep him a little busier than he would be otherwise. Well, I gain my mad levels on my Torrent Chieftain because the Torrent Chieftain and the Naga. The, the third hero of the Naga are the ones that matter um, as far as levels go. It's like with Night Elf when they mass defend with Talon. It really doesn't matter what the Demon Hunter is. I mean, sure, it's annoying to have a high level Demon Hunter, but he doesn't have some kind of summon that's just going to come out of nowhere and own you like a noob. Anyway, so I'm um, creeping out these guys. Pretty sweet deal because they're easy to kill. And I know the middle is health, which puts a pretty big um, strain off of me. I cannot find him with my blade master. I don't know where he is. He might be creeping the shops out. I don't know. All I know is he has no anti-air, so it's not like he's going to pick off. Although he could pick him off with a death coil, so I should be a little careful. And he is nowhere, and I just got stunned by a boulder. And I would walk, too, so uh, whatever. Okay, I'm going to create the middle now. Actually, I'm going to make my naga. My naga is very important. Um, because the naga will slow down the death knight and will nuke it. I mean, you can use shadow hunter as well, but oh my god, I just lost a one rider to creeps. Wow. Okay. You can use a shadow hunter, but shadow hunter has no nuke, so you'll be a little stuck. I mean, yes, of course, hex is better than ice arrow, but with no nuke, it just sucks. It really sucks, actually. Okay. He sees he has gargoyles, and I have wind riders. That's not good. That's not good at all. So I want to back up. I'm going to get a couple of bats. i get a couple of bats to counter that. Hmm. That's a pretty good counter. 
Man, I hope we're gonna lose them both here. That would suck. Is all my Windriders? All my Windriders at once? Dude, no. No, dude. Okay, let's focus this on um, this little Death Knight right here. Yeah, this one. Let's see what he's up to. He he's too fast for me. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna need a couple I'm gonna need a couple of bats mixed in here then. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna control two. That really sucks actually. I just lost four wind riders. I mean I lost one creeping and I lost oh no, I, I lost three. But that still sucks a lot. But my heroes the the Windriders just they add some accent and a little flavor to the operation. It, it's really the um the heroes that are we're gonna keep me in this, and I know he has two gargoyles. So I'm gonna keep probably. I'm gonna ask about two bats, maybe, and yeah, maybe another one if I see a few more gargoyles. And he has cleared the center. Hmm. That's never good. Oh shoot! Maybe. Oh no, he's gonna kill it with a death coil. No, I hate you. I hate you. Well, he, he's doing a pretty good job of countering this actually at the moment. He's doing a very good job, very nice job of countering this. Okay, so I, I need to creep. Because if I don't creep, then I won't get my levels I need and I won't be able to win this. Because I need pretty much level level two stomp. That that's a big one to get. Um I see ghoul I think he's going ghoul garg actually. Interesting as that is, because I never see that really. But yeah, it's looking a lot like ghoul garg to me. But then again I'm just me. Uh, he is going solo Death Knight. I know this from the high level on his Death Knight. And, um, that's pretty easy to tell. I mean, I, I would think so. I'm actually going to continue to make Wind Riders as I don't see very many gargoyles. And he just used a, um, thing to see if I was there. And it missed me. So, yay for me. I will now get to steal a creeper too, maybe. If I'm lucky, maybe a few more. I don't know. We'll see. Steal an item. Yes, gauntlets. Sweet! He is fast as a mofo, but what do you gonna do? You're gonna get surrounded. That's right. That's what you're gonna do. Hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I, I don't care what he does with that hero. All I know is I am massing Windriders like a mofo. Okay, let me, let me get maybe a. And I am. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, scroll of beast, that, that'll be helpful, unless he gets Destro, which he probably will actually, so probably won't be as helpful as it could be, but it'll still do some extra damage. If actually if he has Destro, I won't I won't even use it until after uh, the Destros are gone. Um, because I don't want to feed his Destro's mana, which is exactly what I would be doing if I just did that. Okay, so he has scrolls. He is probably in all likelihood going ghoul garg, although I don't see that. It might be Fiend. I don't know. I've seen people who just have Gargs there to scare the orc. And I just noticed I have a crap load of gold. Wow. That's a lot. Oh, I missed him with the stun. Gotta hurt. Gotta hurt. Okay, I have a lot of gold. So I'm gonna get the upgrades. I don't know why I have that much gold. I shouldn't have been. I should have been thinking about my units and such. But I wasn't. I was being a noob. Also, I cleared it out in expansion. I'm going to get the upgrade to the defense of my expansion. And uh, I'm going to creep a few more things to get uh, a little bit of a higher level on my Torn Chieftain as well as my Naga. Um, ideally, they'll be 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I could live with 3-2, but 2-2 two, two just doesn't cut it at all. So I'm going to creep the, sh the, c the shop camp thing, whatever, down there. And I just saw ghouls go past. I don't know what... Oh, wait. Oh, just... Oh, it's Mass Destroyer. It's Mass Destroyer. Exactly what I thought was coming. Okay, so it's going to be... It's going to be... Destroyer versus Mass Windrider. Hmm. Should be fun. Uh... I can now not use that Scroll of Beast, as it will be whooped. Whooped. Uh, my expansion, actually, that I'm going to get eventually is going to make a big, di big difference. Uh, as it's always good to have more gold than their opponent, and he has Mass Australia, and he's about to own my base. In fact, he's going to own it very badly. In fact, he's going to own it very badly to the point where I'm going to cry. 
No, 